Police have announced an arrest in the attack that left a security guard in Rittenhouse Square injured on Sunday. Police say the accused attacker stabbed the guard with a pair of scissors. Action News reporter Taronda Thomas live for us now uh, near Rittenhouse Square Park where it all happened in Taronda. That suspect now facing a list of charges. Yes, and one of those charges is ethnic intimidation for what police say he yelled to that security guard during the attack. Now this all happening in an area that residents say is typically peaceful. A beautiful day, you know, there's a lot of people out and about. Rittenhouse Square is where many come to relax, never expecting what police say happened here Sunday afternoon. A security guard attacked and stabbed with a pair of scissors. Police say the culprit was this man, 34-year-old Thomas Reisman. According to investigators, he walked into the security booth at the center of Rittenhouse Square at around 4.15 Sunday afternoon. Police say he laid down on the floor of the booth. The security guard told him to leave. That's when police say the suspect suddenly attacked, stabbing the security guard in the face and head. Oh my God, that's horrible. I am surprised because Rittenhouse Square is like, people come here when they break. I come here on my break. Sources say the security guard is Hispanic. It matters in this case because police say Reisman yelled at the victim, go back to your own country. Now Reisman faces charges of ethnic intimidation in addition to attempted murder. I don't believe that this was that this was a targeted incident. I believe it was unfortunate, a mental illness thing. Because I work different times. This time was cool, later at night. It's a little bit more sketchy, but that's part of being in Philly. People who live and walk through Rittenhouse Square say while they generally feel safe, they also stay alert. There's a lot of homeless people that, you know, are obviously mentally ill. So I think that's the biggest fear. I feel like the city is doing a lot much better now than before. Hoping the place where they feel safe stays that way. We've had our ups and downs, but the city, for the most part, is still safe. Police say despite being stabbed, that security guard somehow managed to handcuff the suspect, who is now being held on $1 million bail. In Rittenhouse Square, Toronto Thomas, Channel 6 Action News. All right, Toronto, thank you.